Hey guys, welcome back to Horn Given. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna do that quest as they call it in this in this game, and then after that, I think tomorrow or Friday, I'm gonna work on that the trial because I recorded on the other side of it because I like to see I get myself into because. I don't look like a noob in front of everybody because, you know, I don't like looking stupid. So, in other words, that's what it is. I like to know beforehand, kind of, kind of do a quick pre-record, as I call it. I don't know. I kind of, I, that's what I like to do, I guess. I guess we'll just get on with it. Yeah, I don't know, it's... And yesterday I had, yesterday, um, I had some power outage and I, it didn't come on till like almost 7 o'clock. By then I was kind of tired and I don't know. It was just crazy. I don't know. I don't know what happened with the power. I mean, it, we lost power for at least a couple hours. Hold on. So yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what happened in power. I kept checking the 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 thing. Is I kept saying under investigation. So I'm like, I don't, what? I don't think I don't that sound. That sounds suspicious to me. So. Like they didn't know what was going on. If if it was, you know, somebody like blew it up or what, or I don't know. If somebody like crashed their car into it or something, or I could ask maybe what happened. Somebody crashed their car into it. Something. Who knows? Or a tree fell on it. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. And I was Monday night. I was kind of debating about recording because of because of this quest. Because I feel like we're going in some missions that I need to focus harder and then just playing the game and you know, kind of. Now I feel like I need to focus better, harder, focus more on like what I'm doing and what's going on in the game because I don't want to mess up and be like oh I don't I can't get that part recorded tonight because I didn't know what was going on so I kind of you know I don't know I plus I'm kind of thinking about what tonight play next and I don't know tell me what you guys want to see next on the channel the channel Oh, your views are appreciated. I appreciate you guys' views and stuff. And there's a few mile markers I want to reach to for my channel. Like, like, cause I want to hit a few mile markers. I'm not sure what they are just yet, but there's a few I want to hit. Like, certain number of like, subs I hit I want to like I think a hundred probably be my my biggest mo biggest one I'll be able to hit one day I hope soon see what this guy says I hope I look Professor Fig the keepers have shown me where the next trial is has something changed Lodcock and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle and I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. 
Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the Headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The Headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the Headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the Headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait. Doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So, how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? <clears throat> Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. And then I gotta remember to come back and pick up that thing. It, I saw it, it was one of those moon things for that one guy. For that moon, that moon for the moon guy. Kind of a funny thing. His name is Moon. I'm looking for the moon stones. That's kind of Professor, funny. Professor, a moment of your time. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather... <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children! Is that man the real precious, um, black? It's kind of funny. Come what on. could the Headmaster want? I'm gonna talk to the kid real quick. Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. <laughs> uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
On your way, Mr. Weasley. Yeah. Well, there's one for my diary. I saw his mouth down there. It'd be kind of fun to be somebody else for, for a minute. You can, especially if you're like a, you know, teacher or something, you can tell people what to do. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. I know. Professor Black, how are you, sir? I'm... Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. I think Ominous knows that it's not really, it's not Has Professor Black. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Yeah, I think I'm as I'm in his what did no, it's, not really, it's not really me. It's not really When I real... witness what passes for magic in these halls, I uh I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Yeah, he knows it's he knows it's not ominous knows it's not really the real Professor Black. He knows it's That's why he's like, Are you okay, sir? He's like <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody watch this. I'm gonna talk to everybody, it'd be funny. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible. I mean, I've seen them about. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off. I'm scolding everybody. Just see what they know about the that elf. Looking for. I guess I had to come back and remember. I can't eat my. I don't have my wand right now. Chewing with your mouth open. Where are your manners? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How how delightful to see you, sir. Ah, uh, since I have you here. I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, 
Yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> You think when people would catch that? Because he keeps, I keep messing up. You think people would catch on and be like, "That's not real, Professor." That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. <laughs> Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. Uh, Attention, students! Uh, Scrope! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. I thought I think it's the middle one, maybe. Or maybe it's the bottom. I don't know. I think it's the bottom one. I think. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but uh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. <coughs> That's all the talking I did. Made me. It's better to wear off quicker. <coughs> We need to leave the area a minute. Ugh. It sees me. Ah, oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Okay, that might that might do it. Hold on. Let me check that. Hello, Amora. It's like the most frustrating lock picking ever. Um, I think that with that being said, I'm gonna stop here for now. If you do my channel, like and subscribe, please. If you want more content, Hogwarts content, you know what to do. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.